Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday, so it's the weekend, so I thought it'd be fun to do like a little mini weekend vlog, see what we get into. This weekend, really like no crazy plans. Dylan and I are gonna go see the Mean Girls movie tonight. Um, I drug him into going <laughs> to see it with me. So that'll be kind of fun, but we're really just like chilling and having a cozy weekend in. Nashville's supposed to get like freezing temperatures Sunday and Monday. So everyone's like freaking out and going to the grocery store and like stocking up and all that stuff. So maybe we'll prepare for the cold weather. We're supposed to maybe get a little bit of snow, but I don't know if it's actually gonna happen. Um, but I just wanted to start off the vlog. I'm about to make my coffee. I've already had like breakfast and did all of that this morning, picked up the kitchen. I have the dishwasher running if you guys can hear it. Um, it's 11.30 and I'm gonna make a little coffee. I have like an afternoon coffee. I have one coffee a day. My doctor says it's fine. I do like one to two shots of espresso depending on the day. And I always have like my coffee after breakfast around the afternoon time. Um, but I don't like to have it any later than like two, three o'clock. So I try to fit it in around like noon. So I got these new little glass tumblers off of Amazon. They came in this morning. I have a bunch of like packages and stuff that I want to unbox with you guys as well. Rue, don't even start it. How cute are these little glass tumblers? It's a glass lid and a glass straw. And sometimes with my coffee, I want to have like a lid on there because sometimes I take this to go. Um, so I thought that this was like a cute little fun cup. Rue. We're not starting that. Here's a little coffee setup. This is what I've been doing for my at-home coffee. Oh, I also want to share these cups here. I just got in from Anthropology. I'm obsessed with them. I got four of them for like Valentine's and just like spring. I had the Christmas ones like this, but I packaged those up in storage and then I put these out. And then I also get a lot of questions about these glasses. They're from Arjas. Every time I try to link them on the website, I can only find the short ones, but I'll look again and try to link these for you guys. So I'll link all this stuff. These are just like from Target and these are from a local shop in Florida. So those are kind of our cup situations. This is what I've been using for my coffee, but I just got those glass tumblers in. So I wanted to use one of those this morning. I also have new coffee beans coming in from Alfred. I think that they should be here any day now and I'm so excited about that. I also got a vanilla syrup, so. This is what I do in the morning. I've been having my coffee at home and I've really been enjoying it. I do two shots of espresso over ice. Here's my cup of ice, just like a big cup. And then I do half Trevani creamer, half milk, and I just like mix it all together and it's so, so good. All right, so I'll do like a little splash of milk. Creamer. And then we have the shot of espresso. I'm feeling very pregnant this morning. I just feel like bloated today for some weird reason. Like I just feel like my stomach doesn't feel at ease. So I'm honestly having a coffee to see if I can like go to the bathroom. That's like TMI and I feel like I've never shared anything like that on my channel, but I'm like, my stomach is so, I don't know. It just feels tight and it normally, I, I never really feel like this. So this is 20 weeks. It was 20 weeks exactly yesterday. And it's the craziest thing. Like, just like seeing myself, I'm like, ooh. But the baby has started kicking. I've been like being able to feel him kick and it's the most crazy thing. Like I lay in bed with my hands like this or like when I'm laying on the couch, especially at night, he goes like crazy at night and I feel him kicking. It feels like he's like, it kind of just feels like a like a poke out almost. But I, I swear no one, like, Everyone can tell you it's like the most beautiful thing when you feel your baby kick for the first time, but you never like actually know how insanely cool it is until it happens to you. And Dylan and I, it actually happened the first time on New Year's Eve. Dylan and I were sitting on the couch in Florida and he kicked and I started freaking out. I'm like, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. And he came running to the couch and he put his hand on my belly and he felt it too. And it was just like, I don't know. It's like the craziest thing that there is a baby in here. like. I don't know, it's just, it's hard to explain because I feel like when I explain it, I sound like an idiot. Like, oh my God, I still can't believe I'm pregnant. But like, I truly can't believe that in 20 weeks, we're gonna have this like baby boy here and he's gonna be like the most loved thing in the world. But like for right now, he's just in here and I'm growing him. And it's just the strangest, strangest thing ever. I'm like already so obsessed with him and I like cannot wait to meet him. I'm so excited. We've been feeling baby kicks and it is so, so exciting. Also my set is from Skims. I just got it in. I think that it's like their Valentine's Day color. I will link it for you guys. These joggers I got in a medium, which I'm so excited that people are finally starting to make joggers that are like long enough for us tall gals, but you guys can see these here. Like I have so much extra length on here. They're even like rolled. So it'll be nice because I feel like every time I wash a jogger and then it comes out of the wash, they're immediately like too short and meet, like after one wash. And I love the long drawstring. In the crew neck, I'm wearing a large. I feel like I should have done an XL 
just to like be able for it to fit me because it's a little bit on the shorter side, but I feel like it's kind of cute if your like belly is showing. So I'm in a large crew neck and a medium bottom. Coffee is so good. Okay, put this stuff away. I'm gonna go watch some YouTube on the couch, but I'm also gonna make a water quick. In my water, I'm gonna do a little bit of these buoy drops. I talked to you guys about these in the last vlog. Just like an added electrolyte in my water. Take the lid off of here. Tiniest squeeze in there. And then I've been taking I've been taking this armor colostrum. I don't like to add it into my water. I like to just like do a dry powder scoop and then chase it with like orange juice or something. But I've been taking that every day, which I already took this morning. And then I've also been taking my seed right here. And then my ritual prenatal is upstairs in my bathroom because I take it at night. So that's kind of what I've been taking lately. I'm gonna go sit on the couch with my <laughs> beverages and then watch some YouTube, hang out for a little bit, unbox these packages with you guys, and then probably get ready for the day. Dylan and I might go out and about and do some stuff. He got new wheels and tires for his, or wheels and rims, I don't know like the proper term. Um, I got them for him for his birthday and like a late Christmas gift. Um, so his car has been at discount tire, so we need to go pick that up together. He took my car to work. He's like only working a half day today, so he'll be back around 1.30. And then we'll see what we get into. But I want to like get ready for the day. I want to like do my hair, put some makeup on. I haven't put makeup on in like two weeks since we've gotten home for Christmas. Um, so I thought it would feel good to like get ready today. But for now, we're just gonna chill at home and hang out for a little bit longer. Finish up my coffee. I love like relaxing on the couch and having my coffee just because it's like the only coffee I get to have in the day. And I just enjoy like having it chill on the couch watching YouTube. I started to unbox a few things that I wanted to share. I got some new, what are these, oil lipsticks from YSL. They're darker colors, I already kind of looked at them. So I'll probably save these for Dylan's sister. She loves like darker lips. Um, this is a body oil from the brand Hani. I love this brand for like body products. And then I'm so excited about this. I got the Summer Fridays. I don't know how I ended up on the Summer Fridays PR. This is like my first PR package I got from them packaging is like stunning and then they just came out with these lip oils and i want to try one because how cute look at this like attention to detail so cute we've got four colors i'm gonna try the pink cloud i feel like this one will be mostly like the lightest maybe i'm hoping it goes on a little bit sheer terrible camera angle God, it feels like butter on your lips. You need to go look in like a actual mirror. Oh yeah, this is pretty. Very light. And it feels like really moisturizing. Wow. Okay, I love, I love, love, love these. This was the pink cloud color. I'm gonna put this in my purse right now. I got a new order and I have these like on subscription on Amazon, the Clean Skin Club. This is what I use for my face, like to wash my face at night. I got a restock of my favorite shampoo and conditioner from the brand Scene. It's really good if you have acne prone skin. Got this little silk set in from Kate the Label. They have really cute like nighttime wear and like lingerie and stuff. When they reached out, I told them to order me a size up. I think that they did, super cute. I also got my Thrive Market box in the mail with some like new snacks and stuff. And I wanted to share, if you guys are not familiar with Thrive Market, they're an online based membership like grocery store and they have guaranteed savings on like every order. I love picking out snacks and like household items, pantry staples, things like that on there. They have everything from wines to household stuff, frozen food, meats, um, condiments, all that kind of stuff. They have a bunch of brands like Late July, these Skinny Dip Cups, this is like my favorite marinade. I always get this kind of stuff off of Thrive because they have the lowest prices. And I also love to find like new brands on there. They're always like adding new items, new brands. So it's fun to like stock up, try out new snacks, new products, things like that. Also they have items and stuff that sometimes my local grocery store doesn't. So it's really nice because it just comes like right to the door. Also all orders over $49 ship free in carbon neutral shipping from their zero waste warehouse, which is really nice. My orders always come super quick. Um, so I just got some like few restocks for the pantry. Late July chips, these are insane. They taste like Cool Ranch Doritos, but healthier. I got a big new package of cooking salt. This is like a mineral salt that I really like for cooking. And at my like local grocery store, this is like $20 for the bag. And it was so much more affordable on Thrive Market. So I always get stuff like that, like honey, um, syrups, marinades, things like condiments and stuff off of Thrive because they're so much cheaper. This 
barbecue sauce is so good to marinate like chicken thighs honestly any meat or like pour over a bowl or anything at my local grocery store i think it's like 7.99 a bottle and i think i got it for like four on thrive so huge savings and then i got a few um like little sweet treats just because i'm pregnant and i feel like at night i have like a sweet tooth for things smart sweets i got like four of these and i'm down to one i've been like eating them out of the bag and it just came yesterday and then i also wanted to try out these skinny dipped cups the milk chocolate peanut butter and then i also got these little silicone food huggers to put on like um limes lemons to put over canisters tomatoes avocado stuff like that just because i feel like sometimes i only use half of the produce and then it goes bad sitting in the fridge so i'm so excited about these it's like a membership based grocery store so they have two like membership options you can do month to month which is billed at 12 dollars a month or you can do a build like annually so it's one time of year and it's 59.95 for the whole year i could put like the information here on the screen you're literally guaranteed to make your money back from like the membership fee in no time and if you do not thrive market will match the difference which is really awesome but even just on this order i saved like i think at the end when i checked out it was like 12 dollars or something and that was just on this one order so if you're ordering a lot off of there you're definitely going to make your money back in the savings that you get everyone knows right now that grocery prices are like through the roof like i literally go to the grocery store and i walk out with two bags and it's like 60 dollars, and i'm just like what the heck just happened in there um so if you can save on any little things here and there it's really nice especially like paper towels they have on there they have cleaning items um they have wines and stuff like all that stuff and the savings are like really, really nice. You guys should definitely check out Thrive Market. I'll put a link here on the screen for y'all and then I'll also link it down below and you get 30% off of your first order. Plus you get a free gift up to $60 when you use the link. So check them out, um, sign up for the membership. I swear it is like so worth it. It will save so much money on groceries, especially if you're someone who likes to get snacks and condiments and try out new brands and products and stuff. Thrive Market is the way to go. Again, it is 30% off of your first order plus a free gift up to $60 when you join thrive market so check them out thank you thrive market for sponsoring this video i'm gonna put these away break down this box i've had these snacks sitting out on the counter because i wanted to share them with you guys and then i'm so excited about these so i'm gonna take these out wash them and get all this pr put away dylan's on his way home right now i think i'm gonna do just like a little bit of light makeup we're gonna go pick up his truck and then run a few errands we have to like drop off the lawnmower or something because it's broken and just like a few other little things i'm trying to talk dylan and to us going to nordstrom and maybe looking at a few baby strollers i think i'm between like two and nordstrom carries one of them that i'm looking at but the other brand they do not carry so i'm kind of like i don't know how i'm going to compare it's also like so early we have a while to get that but i Posted on my Instagram story yesterday, like some recommendations of what some like new moms or moms love to put on their baby registry. I'm slowly but surely trying to get the registry together because I feel like it'll just be nice to have done because I have a few family members that are asking like any gifts or things that we want or like starting to like ask if we have the registry ready. Um, so I just want to like have it together. So if or when people ask, they can refer to that and then also a few of you guys have been asking if I'm going to share my registry and I definitely will um, once it's done I'll share it with you guys so you guys can have the link if you're a mom we're trying to get some ideas as well putting a little bit of makeup on to feel good about this pale skin kind of been embracing the winter gloom like pale skin because honestly I think spray tans are breaking my face out and it's not worth it to me I'd rather be pale then like have zits all over my face so i was the last vlog i was talking about how my skin's been doing much better and a lot of you guys were like honey it's because of the pregnancy like your hormones are changing so it's cleared your skin up like it's not because of the skincare and i'm like okay that's probably true but also i do think that the skincare is making a difference um so i'm just praying that once the baby's here and my hormones change again that the acne doesn't come back but I feel like it probably will so fingers crossed on that but anyways I just put a little bit of this Merit complexion stick on I really love it and I don't know if I'm gonna do I was gonna do some like light foundation but I don't even know if I want to do that it feels so nice to have my stuff organized and like 
know where all my stuff is in the closet. Ilia skin tint, blush. I feel like I've talked about Merit makeup on my channel, but if you have not tried them out yet, they're so good. They blend so nicely. I used to be so scared of like cream products and these are so nice. They blend so nicely and they're like safe for acne prone skin, which is nice. A little bit of highlight. I got a new, uh, what do you call it, mascara in the mail from Revolve. I ordered it. The Tower 28, I've been wanting to try it. So I'm gonna go grab that quick. It's in the hallway. The Make Waves Tower 28 mascara. I've heard it's a lot like the L'Oreal Telescopic. Oh yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it's the same brush if it will focus. It's making my eyelashes like clump together. Why is it doing that? <laughs> Okay, just do a little bit of brows. Let me put my rings on. I think I'm just gonna stay in this set. Like I literally just put it on this morning. It's like all nice and clean and fresh. And I love a nice fresh sweat set. I ordered a pair of the Shop Alley Grace maternity jeans and I'm waiting on those to come in because I've just been living in like stretchy pants because none of my jeans right now fit me. I'm just waiting on those to come in because then I'll feel like normal and can wear jeans again. I feel like I used to hate on jeans all the time. And now that I can't wear any of my jeans, I'm like, missing wearing jeans, if that makes any sense. I like want to wear jeans again, but none of them fit. So I actually started packing up a bunch of stuff that isn't fitting me in my closet and put it in a bin just to free up space in the closet. And then also if we end up moving, it'll be easier to just like go ahead and pack everything up because half of it's already packed basically. I'm gonna put maybe like some Uggs or sneakers on and then I need to find a jacket because it's actually really cold, so I need a jacket to go over this and then we need some perfume and then I think we're all ready to go. I got in the car with Dylan and then we ran to Discount Tire. It's like right by our house. And then I got in my car, drove home and he's picking up his truck and he's pulling in, but he's like, get me pulling in the driveway with my new wheels. I'm like, what is wrong with boys? Like, why are boys interested in things that girls are just not? It's so funny. But he's been wanting like new tires on that truck ever since we got it. They, he like needed new, I don't know what the difference between tire, rim, and wheel. I think wheel and rim are the same thing and then tire is like the outside part. I don't know, popped a tire on the interstate the other day. Um, it like blew out and then when we went we were just gonna buy one new tire but the guy was like all of these tires are about to go so I was like okay now it's just like a good time and his birthday's at the end of the month and I was like it was just the holidays Valentine's Day whatever we can get new tires so we did and he's like so excited about it because he's been wanting them for like a year now and we've kind of just been waiting because it's kind of like if you want new tires and stuff it's almost like you need to wait until they go bad to get them because what's the point of getting rid of tires that are still good? I mean, I guess you could sell them and like get some money for them, but you'll never get like as much as what you had paid for them. So anyways, I don't know. I'm not a pro about cars. I don't know anything honestly about like tires and wheels and all that stuff. But I do know that that's one excited boy in that truck right now. He's like so excited with how it looks. The front he got like blacked out rims and stuff and he's just like been wanting that and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna see what time this lunch spot closes that I love because they have a BLT that I'm obsessed with. And I like really want it. Okay, it's open till six, so maybe Dylan and I can run a few errands, go there for lunch. We're supposed to go see the Mean Girls movie tonight, but it's like a big Chiefs. The Chiefs are playing someone, I forget who Dylan said. And it's supposed to be like, a really cold like I guess they came out and said that if you're attending the game there can be no part of your skin showing because with windshield it's supposed to be like negative 30 degrees I'm like why would anyone even want to go sit in that stadium anyways but Dylan like really wants to watch it it's like the first round of playoffs I think today for the NFL so we might stay in tonight and get cozy and do like a homemade dinner I really want to make like buffalo chicken dip or something I think that could be fun and watch football so we might push Mean Girls off and honestly I just found out that Mean Girls is a musical which I know Dylan's gonna hate. And I also, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of musicals. Like I would rather just like go see a movie. Last weekend when my friend was in town, Teddy and I, we went to go see the new, um, 
what show is it but anyone but you like new rom-com it was so good i'm obsessed with that movie if you haven't seen it it's so good and then last night we actually just finished um a lot of you guys told us to watch fool me once on netflix it was so good so we're kind of looking for a new show but i don't know mean girls i don't think that's like fair of me to drag dylan to if you drug your guy to the mean girls the new mean girls musical movie whatever you want to call it let me know if he liked it because i could just see dylan shaking um I could see Dylan not really enjoying that. So he might just stay in tonight. We have dinner reservations tomorrow night for City House, which I'm really excited about. It's my like one of my favorite restaurants in Nashville, but you have to like make a reservation like almost a week ahead. So I made it last weekend for tomorrow, which will be like a fun little date night. So we might stay in tonight and then go out tomorrow night. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at those. Do you like it? What it do? <laughs> they look good. Does it feel like you're driving higher? No. Even with a bigger tire? No. Are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Okay. We just got back from being out for a little bit. Um, I ran into Trader Joe's and I made a huge mistake because Nashville's supposed to get like freezing temperatures. I think starting tomorrow and then like for the rest of the week. So everyone was in the grocery store stocking up. Like everything was basically out of stock. The shelves were empty. The lines, it took me like forever. I stood in line for 30 minutes. Dylan had to drop me off at the door because we couldn't even find a parking spot. But we got a few things and then I also got a few extra things just in case the weather is really bad. I mean, we live really close to a Publix, but still I'm kind of like, just in case. I got some new flowers for the coffee table. We're gonna do pizza night tonight and stay in and watch the game, which is starting soon. Um, I got like just some stuff to make the pizzas and then I also got some tomatoes to do like a homemade bruschetta type of thing. Um, I got some basil, mozzarella cheese, another bell pepper. We went to Trader Joe's instead of Publix for the reason of this pizza sauce, it's so good. And then also the pizza crust from Trader Joe's I really like to use because it's already slightly cooked. So then when you go to cook it, like it doesn't start burning like everything is cooked fully. Um, I got some green grapes, these like sounded and looked really good. I got mini mozzarella pearl. Balls. They were out of shredded mozzarella, so we're gonna have to make that work. I got a thing of vegetable fried rice, um, some pepperoni, and some milk, some dog treats. I just placed a big order with buck bones, but it's not in yet, and we ran out of treats for the dog. So I got these, and then I also got these, which I really like. The ingredients are clean. Babe, I got these for us. You wanna try one? They're like those gummy worms that you liked, tangy and sweet. Oh, it's hard to bite. <laughs> Do you like it? Hard to chew. Yeah, why is it so hard? Because it's probably some fucking organic and <laughs> and salt-free candy. <laughs> A new thing of everything but the bagel. Oh no! How did I pick the one lemon bag that has a rotten lemon? <laughs> Or a lime. Okay, I got these because I've been really into peeling like the cuties. But I heard that these are really good. The sumo citrus Wait, mandarin oranges. And then I got just some onions. So onions? I'm gonna put all this away. Babe, you didn't put the cheese down. <gasps> Doesn't cheese go on top? Mmm, cheese goes first. Okay, we have to restart. Take two. <laughs> We don't have shredded mozzarella. You think that's fine? Yeah. I think we should split these and and keep, don't put any. That's gonna be that's a lot of cheese. I have beat this too. Remember last time? Is it nighttime? <laughs> Is it nighttime? Okay. The game just ended. I'm about to take a shower. Pajamas I wore last night. These were like our Christmas pajamas for Dylan's family. I recently got in a new set of the Everjay pajamas. These are the best pajamas. 
So I'm excited to get like cozy in a new pair of pajamas. I'm gonna turn this on. I put these pillows on the floor every night because they're just the ones that we don't use and then we have an extra like throw pillow because Dylan's mom got me new pillows for Christmas. So this one just like goes on the floor now. And Ruth thinks it's her palette. <laughs> and I put it on the floor and she immediately goes on it. <laughs> She's like, mom, what? Like, why are you filming? This is so cute. You're just so sweet. Okay, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. I ordered some more of these meal prepped like lunches from the brand Vibrant Meals. They're out of Chattanooga in Nashville. If you guys live in the area and they're so yummy for lunches. I think I talked about them in a vlog. It's literally fresh, they're never frozen. They have this ice pack on here and they deliver the meals like every Sunday morning. I thought I clicked two of these, but I guess I didn't. So I only got three meals, but I got the sweet and sour chicken, which is new. It's new like for this week. They didn't used to have this one. It looks really good over rice. And then I've had this one before. It's so good. The Asian steak stir fry and I got two of these just for lunches to have. Um, there's a lot of veggies in this, so that's like good for veggie intake and then like good protein for lunch. So I'm gonna put these in the fridge. I'll eat them like Monday to Wednesday. I just cleaned up the kitchen and stuff from breakfast. Hi. <laughs> I think we're gonna go do a Costco run quick um, to get some stuff. We're supposed to get freezing temperatures tonight. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. So we're covering like the pickets or something with all the water hoses outside. I'm not exactly sure. So Dylan's doing that. I was just having my coffee on the couch. I'm trying to pick up this downstairs. I got a few more sweat sets in the mail that I'm very excited about. Daily Drill sent over. They came out with new like selfie sets and it's like their boxer jogger. So I'm very excited. I love this blue color. And then you guys know, let me turn this volume down on <laughs> this jazz music. Y'all know I love Elwood. Um, I actually ordered this set with my own money. I'm obsessed with their sweat sets. I do a medium in the jogger. Even though I'm pregnant, I just wear it like underneath my belly. And then before I was pregnant, I did medium as well. And then I do a large in the sweatshirts and I just love this orange color. So I picked it up for spring. And I have a code, it's Rachel10. I'll put on the screen. It gets you 10% off of all your orders. I use my code all the time. I always get questions about like my favorite sweat sets and stuff. And I absolutely love Daily Drills, Elwood, um, a turn is another one of my favorite brands. They have like pricier stuff, but it's really good quality. You've walked down every aisle. I think we should ask the sales associate. It's gotta be outside. It's gotta, it's gotta be where the hoses are. Okay, then let's go out there. We don't have much time. <laughs> you just want to look around. <laughs> what is it with boys in like Home Depot and Lowe's? It's like their thing, you know. This is crazy. I'm acting like we've never seen snow and we literally lived in Colorado. Wow, look at that snow coming down. Okay, we came into Publix after dinner because on the dinner menu there was popcorn. <laughs> we didn't order it and then I was like, wait, I'm actually really craving popcorn. So we came to the store to get popcorn and some candy. And now we're heading home to watch the last, game. last NFL game of the night. Yeah and it is really coming down. And it's kind of staying, but I mean, on the ground, it's kind of melting. It's really coming down. Do you just like seeing your chuck in the snow? Is it like a thing for guys? Hell yeah. Oh my God, it's really chilly. <laughs> Guess what? It's snowing. It's snowing. Are you ready? Are you ready? We think this is Ruth's first snow, but one time last Christmas when we dropped her off at the farm, I think it snowed, but we didn't see her in the snow. So we're excited to see what she does. Okay, ready? It's snowing, Weenie. Remember? It's not as eventful, <laughs> just going potty. We just got back from eating at City House. I made reservations last week. It's like one of my favorite restaurants in Nashville. And it was our first time going on a Sunday, which if you go on Sunday, they have like a special like curated menu for the week and the food was so, so good tonight. We got like spaghetti and meatballs. We had this salad, this like sesame ginger Asian salad. It was so good. I'm a appetizer girl. Whenever I go out, I'm always like, anyone want to split a bunch of apps is like the main thing. So <laughs> I feel like I finally have converted Dylan to becoming an appetizer guy. 
So we got like three appetizers and then we split like an entree and it was so good, but there was this like buttered, fresh popped popcorn on their menu as a starter and we were gonna get it and then we didn't get it and now I'm like craving popcorn, I can't stop thinking about it. And if you're pregnant or if you've been pregnant, you know that when you crave something and it's like, you cannot stop thinking about it until you have it. So we ran to Publix on the way home and we got some stuff to make some popcorn. So we're gonna go downstairs and chill. The snow is like really picking up and we're just gonna get cozy on the couch. It's supposed to snow like into tomorrow. So we're probably just gonna have like a chill snow day tomorrow, get some work done tomorrow's Monday. So I'm gonna like wash my face, get ready for bed, put on some cozy pajamas. I have this new sweater on from Jenny Kane that I just got in and I love it. I love like the mock neck. It's super cozy and warm. I can't really see cause my tripod won't lower, but these local European cargo pants are like still one of the only pairs of pants that are still pretty loose on me, which is funny. Cause I used to wear these high waisted and then I would, um, cinch these in like there's a way to cinch the pants in and I would have to cinch it all the way but now I'm like fully expanded and I'll probably only fit in these for like a few more weeks but the bump is bumping right now I'm gonna go lay downstairs normally this is like a time when I lay down on the couch at night where he starts to kick a lot so I'm gonna go lay downstairs on the couch enjoy the fire watch football and probably just like rest my hand on my belly and feel him kick it's like one of my favorite things it's the craziest thing ever um, but I just wanted to say thanks for hanging out with us for the weekend. I know it was like a really chill at home, just like run errands. That's basically normal day in the life type of thing that we have going on over here. I feel like these cold winter months, like post holiday, I'm just like in hibernation mode just because I'm pregnant. It's cold out. Um, there's honestly like not much going on. So I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. I feel like a lot of people are kind of just in hibernation, like winter mode as well. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. There's not much going on around here, but I am going to Florida next week to watch Danny and my parents' dog. My grandma and grandpa are coming in, but I'm gonna go help as well. My parents are going to Cancun on a fun little like parents trip. So I'm gonna go to Florida and stay for the week and I'm gonna drive and bring Winnie and Rue. So that'll be a fun like week in my life in Florida, like taking care of Danny and stuff. But I did look at the weather cause I was like, ooh, look, like I'm excited to get out of the cold. like get some Florida sun and stuff, but it's gonna be like 30 degrees in Florida too. So I think that there's just like a cold front everywhere. And I'm trying to just embrace like the cold winter months, like just like chilling, relaxing, taking time for myself, resting my body, growing a baby, all that kind of stuff. So I normally like go, go, go. I was telling Dylan today, I'm like so excited to travel. I'm like, I have the travel bug. I wanna go somewhere so bad. Like I wanna get on a flight. I wanna go somewhere tropical, somewhere fun. So we're gonna book something for his spring break, I think, um, like the university spring break, it's in March. But I'm like, I kinda wanna do a trip in February too. So I don't know, maybe get some travel out before the baby, before it's like too late to travel. Um, before the baby gets here. So get this water hot to wash my face. I will see you guys in the next vlog. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe um, and make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well. So I love y'all and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.